Uh, hello. Um, I just want to do a vlog today just to commemorate the fact that um, I went to um, see a tennis match at Rod Laver Arena for the Australian Open for the very first time. Um, it's just something that I've always kind of wanted to do. Like um, I've been to the ground, like the Australian Open before, like once or twice or like not that often, but sometimes I've been. And like I've done the ground pass thing where like you go in the first one or two days and get to watch all the matches um, on the outside courts and stuff like um, you know pick between which match to, to watch and, and that's really fun really good atmosphere and stuff but I'd never um, watched a match in Rod Laver Arena which is like the center court of um, the tournament you know and where like usually the um, the, the biggest match at the, in the slot is, is on at the time and um, yeah, I it's one of those things I'd always said. Like again, I, I'd always said to myself, uh, one day I'd love to do it." And um, well, the opportunity kind of arose um, this year because um, Sun, who's um, staying with us, she's my sister's friend from uni. Um, she's staying with us at the moment. She's um, originally from a Korea, but um, and she's just moved to Melbourne and like you know, gonna stay in Melbourne. And um, she said she wanted to go to the Australian Open, like and. So that was kind of cool. And then, because she was thinking about going, um, we were all going to think about going as well. And I looked at the, the tickets and stuff, and, like, because a ground pass would have been, like, because my sister finishes work and son finishes work about 7 o'clock or get home about 7 o'clock, so we would have missed most of the, the day ground pass kind of stuff. And so I was thinking about it when we were booking tickets, and I thought it might be good just to try Rod Laver Arena just to kind of like since it's like we're all gonna go and let's just do something and kind of like tick it off the list as well like watch something at Rod Laver Arena and it's, and so um, I looked at prices and they were, they were actually like $90 and stuff and um, for the Wednesday we we went tonight was Wednesday which is like um, day three of the tournament um, and so there were still tickets available this week by the way has been like Every day from Monday to Friday is like 40 degrees. Um, like tomorrow is 44 degrees, so it's very hot. And so um, we all we, we also thought nighttime might be nice because it's cooler. So there's a few things going for it. And so um, we booked tickets for uh, Lisa, Son, Jeff, and me. So there's four of us, and uh, we went tonight, and it was cool. Like it's again one of those things where all these years, like going to Rod Laver Arena to watch the tennis is like some in my mind it's like something other people do like like they'll go to like the quarterfinals or the finals and because you know I always thought like yeah because um because first of all I buying the tickets I didn't know who would be playing at that time but I guess sometimes you just gotta buy the ticket and just kind of hope that there's a good match and stuff like this time when we went it was the Wednesday and I bought the tickets because the day was convenient for us and stuff like that and I didn't really even, even, it didn't occur to me, like, to even pick which draw would be good. Because had I thought about that, I would have tried to um, pick the draw that, um, uh, Maria Sharapova, who's my favourite player, was playing. So, the Wednesday was not her draw day, so. But the good thing is, uh, it's kind of good that it didn't happen like that, because, um, she wouldn't have been playing at the night session anyway, I don't think, because her first match was at the night session, and also, um, because Lisa and Sun finished work at 7 or got home at 7 we missed the girls match anyway so it would have been even worse to have if Maria Sharapova had been playing that morning the, the first session of the night session would start at 7 and to miss it so it's kind of good that I didn't miss it but um, yeah sounds really cool so we got there got to the um, Royal Lave Arena tonight and as soon as we got inside well we missed the girls match like it was Sam Stozer playing someone else and she won I would have liked to watch that because um because I think the atmosphere with an Australian in there playing would be really cool and the good thing is like once we got into the match right because um when I looked up who was playing uh tonight I was like oh there's this guy he's the 28th seed I never know I've don't know his name before like I was kind of hoping that it'd be one of the big names like um Murray or Nadal or Federer or something like that it would have been kind of cool but I think the reason that they had this guy playing was because um he's, he was playing against an Australian so maybe that's why they put him on centre court I'm not sure but um yeah 
I didn't realise he was playing in Australia until I got inside the arena and I looked at who he's playing and was like, oh, this guy's from Australia, awesome. Hopefully, you know, there'll be something to cheer about because the thing about tennis is uh, it's really good when I actually care who wins out of the two players because sometimes I'll put on a match and I don't even know the two players or I don't care about two who wins or loses and then that's not very exciting unless, you know, the match is going a certain way where there's an underdog and he's fighting back and I kind of want him to win and stuff. But generally, um, it's good if I really like one of the players and want them to win. That's when it's most exciting for me. So this match was good because of that. Like, this guy was Australian and he was playing well. Um, okay, before I begin, the, the first thing I noticed when I got to our seats, because when I booked the seats, it was like, you know how there's like an inner ring of seats and then there's the outer ring? And we were on the outer ring uh, seats. I was thinking, um, I, in my head, I was like, okay, we're in the probably in the back end of the cinema, I'm um, not the cinema, the arena, so I don't know how good the view is, but I was basically going for the fact that I just wanted to be in the stadium for the atmosphere and stuff, but when we got to our seats, like, even though they were kind of fairly back, um, it's still, the view was really good, like, it felt cosy, it was like looking down at the tennis um, court, I could still see everything fine, which was really cool, like, and it had this kind of cool cozy arena type feel like I felt like um I was in the Colosseum or something although you know not people gladiators fighting but like the same kind of atmosphere but for tennis hard to explain but and it was a warm night but it kind of like when we got there it was about nine o'clock at night and um it had cooled down a little bit it was humid but it wasn't crazy hot and stuff like that so it was actually really comfy um the match itself was really really good like we missed the we got we caught the end of the first set and the Australian who was named Matthew uh, Eb um, Ebden Matthew Ebden I think it was and he was playing um, someone named Vasek um, uh, Hospicil Hospicil and he was from Canada 28th seed and um, yeah, it was a really good match because um, the second and third set, they went down to tiebreaker. And um, so it was a four set match and he lost in the, the Australian loss in the fourth set, which was a shame, but he put up a really good fight. And what's kind of funny in a way is like, because um, Sun, she didn't really know the scoring system of tennis and she was trying to like quickly learn it before we got in. And she was... We hadn't really, like, uh, she was looking it up and trying to figure it out, and she was getting it. And um, with the whole tiebreaker thing, she didn't really know what it was going on until it actually happened, and then we could kind of explain as it went. And it was really cool because it was like the second set went to a tiebreaker, and she got to see how it worked, and it kind of like taught her how the scoring system worked. It actually was like perfect for as a tutorial, so I thought that was kind of funny. Um, what else? Another thing I really liked was um, in the stadium there was a whole bunch of um, Australian fans like in this tiny little corner all wearing Australian colours and they were like leading their chants and stuff like they had really good ones they had so like 10 different chants and like some of them were like songs from the Lion King but transposed with um, uh, lyrics names of the tennis players and stuff it was really really cool and even though really cool thing happened was like in the fourth set when it looked like basically that Australian player was gonna lose they still sang something like um I still call Australia home or like basically saying you know even though you probably might lose we still love you you know it was awesome it was really 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 good and he got he still got a great cheer when um he, he left the arena because you know he lost but he put up a huge fight like the tiebreakers the second, the third set tiebreaker, it went to like past 10 each. So it was like he, he, he did everything good. Something about tennis is like, um, I want to say is like, um, when I like a player, like let's say Sharapova or I don't know who else. Um, yeah. Yeah. I just like when they put up a fight, um, even if they lose, so long as they don't give up and fight every point to the end, I, I, I still like that, like I really like that, I don't like to see players just like throw in the towel and stuff, so um, yeah, that's when I really like a player. So he, he put up a good fight, and um, yeah, he didn't win, but you know, he, he it was a great match because it was close, it wasn't like a 
was a boring match. It was it was close. And yeah, so that was my first uh, Rod Laver experience. So I'm really glad that I got to experience it, to be in the stadium. And at the end, um, Jim Courier came out and interviewed the winner. And it was kind of surreal seeing it live, like seeing him do that. Because so many years I've seen him do it on from me watching on TV. Like it's just really cool to be in this um, arena when it's happening. Um, so it's cool that I got to experience it at least once. Now when I'm watching a match on TV, I can just kind of imagine like what it's like to be in the audience for it. Um, so I guess that's what I, all I wanted to say. But yeah, I had a really good night. It was fun, really fun night. And so glad we did it. Mm.